Welcome to WP Theme Tutorial episode 29. Today we're going to look at including JavaScript in the WordPress admin, and then we're going to take a look at limiting it to only the pages we want. Before we get started with that, I'm just going to draw your attention to the site here and to the store. If you missed it, I launched a book two weeks ago now by the time this goes out, and it's about WordPress development, becoming a WordPress development professional. And it's 10 chapters on I guess how to build WordPress sites properly, uh, how to organize your code, querying posts, template files, CSS, mobile themes, JavaScript, double checking your code, actions and filters, documenting, and then community involvement. You get a PDF, EPUB, and Mobi files with it for the low price of $29.99, which makes it sound like an infomercial. Uh, and if you're an agency and you want to be able to give it out to your staff or to new hires, then for $39.99, I say go for it. Now let's jump into our code. So what you see here is I've got the WPTT screencast class set up, uh, just like I do every other time. And that's it, it's set up in a plugin. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to copy from my other screen here, my base functions. So as we know in a class, the first thing that gets called is our construct function. And inside that, I'm going to add action on admin and queue scripts. And out of that, I'm going to call, again, this signifies inside this class, admin and queue. And then from there, I have admin and queue. And I have custom script, location of my custom script. And that's it. Now let's take a quick look at my custom script. It's got nothing really in it. And it's just there so that we know that it's there. And I'm going to refresh my admin and inspect element, I'll probably hit resources, and then open up scripts. And you can see script.js says nothing here. So that's great. But this currently is included every place in WordPress, and that's really not what we want. When you're using JavaScript, you want to make sure that you're only including the chunks you need on the pages you need. You want to keep those load times down as low as possible. Normally, I'd actually run this through CodeKit as well, and I'd be minifying and only presenting the minified version as well. So let's take a look back and we're going to look at a new function. So I'm just going to replace my old, replace my admin and queue function. I'll indent it there just because I like to be like that. So now I'm using a function called get current screen and that returns the screen object in the WordPress admin. Out of that, I'm going to call the screen ID and something we can even do here is print R and call screen. I want to refresh. We're going to get some errors here, but we're also getting a bunch of screen. The callback, callback, and we're getting a bunch of information on our screen. You can see right at the top there, the screen object. It's the dashboard. And here's the ID dashboard. So let's say we, in this instance, I'm only limiting it to post pages. So I want screen ID equals post and then I'm enqueuing my script. So let's refresh again. You can look and we don't have our script down here, you notice. But when I go to posts and I add new, you can see I have script.js right there. Now you can do this for any page in WordPress. You can call and look for just the screen ID if you want. Uh, it's really easy to do. Uh, anytime you're including JavaScript, you should make sure it's only loaded where you want it. Thanks for watching.